Hi guys, today I'm gonna walk you through um, how to convert the pattern, my fall bluff pattern and video. It's one of my most popular videos, one of my most downloaded patterns. It is a basic top-down raglan sweater, um, and you guys love it. However, you guys are always asking me, how do I change the pattern for a worsted weight, DK weight? I've got all this yarn, I've got different, I've got, I want to use this yarn with this needle size, but I don't know how to convert your pattern to make it with different yarn and needle size. So today I'm gonna take the time to walk you through all the math on how to convert this pattern, and it'll help you convert any pattern, um, to figure out your new cast on stitches, and then how to figure out how many sleeve stitches you need and how many stitches you will need for the front and the back. Um, so stay tuned. I will first walk you through all the math, okay? I'm literally gonna write it down on a piece of paper and show you how to do it. But then I have a surprise for you at the end. I took the time and put together um, a Google Doc that you can download. Um, so stay tuned for that at the end. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoy it and get ready to make your own raglan. guys to download the fall bluff PDF pattern just so you can follow along so you know the cast on stitches you know the gauge you know like the the width you're supposed to continue the raglan shaping to so just um, look at the video description and click on the link so you can download this sweater pattern if you haven't already if you like this video if it's helpful please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so other knitters can find this information Thanks guys. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this. It will take a little bit of math, but once you do it once, you'll be able to do this pretty easily for other patterns and you'll be able to find other patterns and convert them pretty easily too. So I knit in nine millimeter needles with super bulky weight yarn so I can make my tutorials pretty quickly for you guys. If I constantly knit um, in worsted weight yarn or DK yarn, it would take me forever to get through making the sweaters. But I know a lot of you guys like to knit with um, a little bit thinner yarn and smaller needles. So I will walk you through exactly how to convert this pattern to a different size. All right, first thing. Write down the gauge that the pattern originally is um, knit in. So this gauge, the original pattern gauge, is 10 stitches for four inches. You can also do the same thing with centimeters, okay? 10 stitches for four inches. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you have the, your new gauge, okay? So that's very important. So um, I am going to knit with this Heartland yarn. Take the time to make sure you've got your gauge, okay? I've knit this before and this does work for me. So my new gauge, you can see with this yarn, um, on 5.5 millimeter needles is 16 stitches per four inches. Okay, so I'm gonna write down the new gauge. All right, that's the new gauge. Now, this is a top-down raglan sweater. So you start by casting on stitches for the collar, right? So what we need to do is find what that collar length is, okay? Because we need to basically take that length and figure out how many stitches we will need for our new gauge, if that makes sense. So the pattern calls for, um, here we go. Cast on and, and do it in the size that you would knit. Okay, so cast on 56 stitches. Okay, so basically, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, we're gonna find the collar length. Step one, find collar length. And we are going to do that by doing a ratio. Okay, and we're gonna take our old gauge, 10 stitches to four inches equals 
we know that the pattern told us to cast on 56 stitches, 56 stitches, but we don't know what that new length is. Okay, so 10 stitches to four inches, 56 stitches to, uh, to X. To, this is what we're trying to find. Okay, so to solve for X, you do um, 56 times four divided by 10. And when you do that, X equals 22.4 inches. And try to be as precise as possible through this part. At the end, we can round. All right, so now we have our collar length. We have our original gauge, new gauge. We have found the collar length. Now we need to do a ratio with our new gauge and our collar length. So we need to find what our new cast on stitches will be. So the second step is find new cast on stitches. And this is another ratio. Okay, so we will take our new gauge over here, 16 stitches to four inches, 16 stitches to four inches equals, we're trying to find how many cast on stitches, but we know our new length, 22.4 inches. Okay, 16 stitches to four over four inches equals X over 22.4. All it is is a ratio here. And when you solve for X, you basically just multiply 16 times 22.4 over 4. And when you calculate that out, that equals about 89.6. Okay, so that is your new cast on stitch of, uh, amount or around, okay? It's not going to probably not going to work out exact. So we are going to take this number now and figure out how to divide up the front and the back and the sleeve stitches. So the third step is to figure out um, raglan stitches. So basically front, back stitches, and sleeves. Okay, so this requires a little bit of math too. So in our pattern, in my pattern, um, it tells you the, you want to look for the raglan setup round, so basically where to place the stitch markers. And the size I am knitting, it's eight stitches for each sleeve and 20 stitches for the front and back. Okay, so I know the old stitch ratio is eight, 20, eight, 20. Okay, and that's where you get the 56. Eight plus 20 plus eight plus 20 is 56. So that was our cast on stitches up here. So basically, we need to take this 90 and figure out what our stitch count breakdown will be. So we know our sleeve, sleeves are eight and our front and backs are 20, okay? So basically, we need to find the, rat the ratio from the, to the sleeve to the front and back, the front back ratio to the sleeve, okay? So basically, you take the larger number, the front and the back stitches, 20 and divide that by 8. Okay, so you divide the front back stitches by the sleeve stitches to figure out the ratio. So basically, you want the way you are spacing out your markers to be similar to the way the original pattern calls for, but you just need to do that with your new stitch amount. Okay, so when you divide 20, when you 20 divided by 8 equals 2.5. So our front to back ratio is 2.5. So you do another ratio. Um, okay, you know half of this, we don't know what this front to back ratio will be with our new stitch amount, 90. Okay, so now basically we need to come up with a ratio that we do know. 56, our original cast on stitches, divided by two is 28. 
So you do the total, you basically want to divide the raglan amount by 2. Okay, the original raglan amount by 2. 56 divided by 2 equals 28. Okay, basically now we're going to do a ratio 28 over 8, the to half of the stitch, half of the sleeves, half of the cast on stitch amount divided by the sleeve amount. And we've got our new number. I'm going to round this up to 90. And 90 divided by 2 is about 45, right? But we want an even number. So I'm going to use 46 over X, okay? And this will get you around what your new sleeve count will be, okay? I know this part can be kind of confusing. You divide the total original cast on stitches by two to get you half of the stitches. And you're figuring out a ratio of half the stitches to a sleeve stitch, 28 divided by eight. And um, this 46 is half of our new, half of our new cast on stitch. And when you do this, X equals 13.14, okay, 13.14. So that technically would be your new sleeve amount, and then we know our ratio from sleeve to front and back is 2.5. So you multiply 13.14 times 2.5 which equals 32.9. Okay, so now we are going to take this 13 number and this 32.9 number and kind of play with them a little bit to get even numbers and add them up so they equal around 90, okay? And when you do that, if we did 14, I'm gonna round this 13 up to 14, and I'm gonna go down this 32 to this 32.9, if we, if we did 14, 32, 14, 32 for our raglan stitches, that equals, I believe that equals 92. Let me just double check that. Yes, 14 plus 14 plus 32 plus 32 does equal 92. So our new cast on stitches are gonna be 92 stitches with this breakdown right here. Okay, so there you go. Now, the whole like figuring out the sleeve to the front back ratio can be, that was a lot of math for that, for that ratio, but if you follow what I've done step by step, you'll be able to figure it out. Now, okay, just to kind of be clear, you could step back and instead of doing all this math, just take the 92 stitches and kind of figure out, you know, what you want your ratio to be within those 92 stitches, 90 to 92 stitches. Um, if you want your sleeve stitches to be one third of the back stitches, you know, just kind of know what that overall ratio is. Um, and you can just play around with the sleeves instead of doing all the math. Anyway, I hope that helps. I'm gonna go through everything one more time. You need your original gauge and your new gauge. And all we do is a bunch of different ratios to find out the information we need. Step one, you find the cast on length, okay? If you're working from the bottom up, this will still work. It doesn't necessarily have to be just the collar. But you find whatever cast on length um, you need. And then basically you do that by using doing a ratio of your old gauge to what the cast on stitches are that the pattern calls for and you're solving for X to figure out um, what the cast on length is. And we found our cast on length 22.4. Now we need to take that length and make a ratio to figure out what our new cast on stitches are. So we take our new gauge, 16 stitches over four inches, equals X stitches, that's what we're solving for, over that collar length or whatever cast on length, 22.4. You solve for X and you get the overall cast on stitches around, right? 
Um, and now you need to figure out if you want to follow the raglan pattern a little bit more precisely, you need to figure out the ratio of the sleeve stitches to the front and the back stitches. And you do that by dividing the back 20, divided, divide the back by the, the sleeve stitch. 20 divided by 8 is 2.5, okay? And basically then you do a ratio of half of the cast on stitches from the old pattern. So 56 divided by 2 is 28. You divide that by the sleeve stitch. And we know that half of um, 92 is 46. So we had 90. I rounded up to get to an even number. So instead of using 45, I used 46. So basically we know that our new sleeve stitch amount will be around 13 stitches. Okay, and then we know that the ratio from front to back was 2.5, so we multiply that sleeve stitch number by 2.5 to get the front back stitches, which is around 32.9. So I kind of shifted and played with the stitch count a little bit to make sure the sleeve stitches and the back stitches were even, and I used 92 again, 14 for the, each sleeve, and 32 stitches for the fronts and the backs. So I hope that helps. Um, and so basically you just cast on and get started and place the stitch markers in the same place and then you just continue the pattern um, as established but instead of following raglan, the number of raglan increase rounds, you'll just go by width, right? You just continue the raglan rounds until you get to your desired width. All right guys, hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed. Don't get overwhelmed by the math. It's really not too bad once you get the hang of it. Um, and it basically allows you to take a basic pattern and modify it to knit um, with whatever yarn and needle size you've got handy. All right, guys. So I explained the math, but I also wanted to make it really easy for you. I, I think it's really important to explain the math so you kind of get an understanding of how everything works, but um, I did create this handy dandy Google Doc here where you can just plug in the information. So click the link in the video description to get taken to this Google Doc where you can download your own version and plug in your own numbers. So I'm just gonna quickly walk you through this Google Doc. So basically, you will plug in the pattern gauge you will then plug in your new gauge. You could change this to centimeters if you wanted. Right now it's in inches, it doesn't matter. All right, so you will enter your cast on stitch amount um, that the pattern calls for, in which case, in our case, the pattern calls for 56 stitches to cast on. Um, and then it will automatically calculate the cast on length. So basically, um, let me just X out of my email here so you don't see all of my emails come through. Um, basically, I could change this to like 60 and it'll it'll change the new cast on stitch amount. But I will go back so you can see in, um, in relation to what I went through on paper. So basically, it tells you your new cast on stitch amount. Then you will type in your front and back stitches for a raglan. Um, if you're doing a cardigan, you can just type in the back stitches, okay? And then you'll type in your sleeve stitch amount, and then it'll get you this ratio, okay? Um, basically, you just plug in the stitches, and then um, it'll calculate all of this. So this could be like 22. Um, and if you change this amount up here, the cast on stitches, it'll automatically update all down here. Okay, so um, basically, um, everything auto populates. So then at the end, you'll get your new sleeve stitch amount and your new front back stitch amount. You will have to round here. Like you'll have to figure out, oh, I'm gonna do 12 stitches or 14 stitches. I'm gonna do 38, I'm gonna do 36 stitches. So um, basically, I just wanted to show you um, that I created this Google Doc for you to plug in your information to make the math a little easier. Hope that helps.